So the next thing to talk about from a tech tip perspective is the solar side of things. So a couple of things are really, really important here. So this unit is rated to 30 amps, okay? So sometimes if somebody's put too much solar on, you may get an overload, or you may find that there's a short circuit on the panels, and you may get an over voltage. So it's designed to be 30 amps and up to a maximum of 25 volts. So what happens is, it, to protect itself, if it ever goes over that amperage or over that voltage, the unit, the solar part of the unit will actually shut down, and then it will, after a certain period of time, it will then reset itself. If it detects that same scenario again, again it will keep shutting down and keep going through that process. So that's where if a customer comes to you and they say, look, I've got solar out there and I'm just not getting anything coming through. It's a beautiful sunny day, my wiring's all good. Well, what they're probably gonna need to do is check their wiring, make sure they don't have a short circuit in there, check their panels, make sure there's no voltage issues in there. Um, as I say, you go over 25 volts and the system will shut it, shut it out, or if you go too high on the amperage side. Now, sometimes we get the question asked, can I use household panels? Short answer, no. You definitely cannot use household panels. They operate at a higher voltage, whereas we need to be using 12 volt panels for making sure that that works properly with our battery plus 35. Now, with the BP35, it'll be with either the solar version, the SR version, or the HA. It's got that 30 amp MPPT solar regulator in there, so it'll work with, um, either of those units will work with solar. All right, so that's the one, just make sure that there's not too much load, not too much voltage, if the customer rings up complaining that it's not displaying up on their Trek or on their Odyssey system.